Hey, welcome back to the print house, guys. Um, a short video on the maintenance on the BT-12, the Roman BT-12. I was asked by a couple of people that, you know, uh, what's the quick process of maintenance? I know it's in the manual, and there's other videos, but I'm just going to cut to the chase um, and do the straight maintenance without having somebody to fish through videos because uh, Roland did do some videos we're cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, switch cameras. Uh, I'm going to turn on the machine, show you what will happen. I haven't run this machine in a few weeks, so um, I'm going to get the maintenance uh, uh, setting come up. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And uh... All right, so as you can see, it's off. Go ahead and turn it on. And right away, if you need to do the maintenance, you're going to get that come up. Okay, so as soon as that comes up, now you got to go, let me turn the light on. Let's see if this helps here. That helps here. All right, so as soon as you get that popping up, and then right now it's saying clean maintenance unit required, okay? So go to menu, just keep hitting down to get a maintenance, hit the enter. Now you want to look for the maintenance unit. That matched and it's gonna do an automatic it's gonna do another step also after clean maintenance unit okay hit enter hit enter again for yes it's gonna start process and then it's gonna tell you to open the door hope you could see that okay so it says open top cover so you open the cover, you're going to be cleaning those ink stations right there, those caps. I'm going to switch cameras in a minute, but I'm going to tell you. So I have my uh, my tray, my cleaning maintenance tray, my foam blocks, which you're not going to need yet. You're going to need your application foam cleaning uh, Q-tip and your fluid. I just pour a little bit of fluid in here and then I dip it right in there. You're only going to dip it once. And then um, for the syringe, basically, you're just going to suck it up and apply it here, but I'll do that step after. So you're gonna need your foam applicator brush type thing and your fluid. So I'll go ahead and switch cameras and we'll go right to the printing. Okay, so we're up here and uh, you see the ink station here. And you guys, you really wanna wear gloves. I didn't have my latex gloves handy, but the only thing I'm going to be touching today is this applicator. That's it. Um, but, you know, wear gloves because this chemical here, they say, is pretty harmful. I, you know, everything causes cancer in California, too. <laughs> um, but I don't touch it either way. Um, I do have latex gloves. I just don't, I didn't have them handy. So these are the stations you're going to clean. These ink cap stations and the wiper. So you're just going to do a quick wipe. I know there's videos on it, like I said. but So we're going to go ahead and just soak it up. You know, maybe up to about half. You don't have to pour it on or anything like that. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back and forth and clean this rubber wiper that you see that you see me rubbing on here. Now the ink cap stations. I go back and forth a couple times. I go on the outside, go on the inside, get some uh, fluid going on there. Try to try to make it clean. You do one quick wipe and that'll get it. That'll make it cleaner. Now the second one. This is the extent of the maintenance, guys. You don't have to spend that long. You can get this done, you know, in a couple of minutes and you're done. And this isn't all the time. This is just, you know, if you haven't printed in a while. And that's it. That's all, guys. You can see it. I'm gonna go ahead. And uh, what it says is, on the, on the display, it says, if cleaning done, close the top cover. That's it. You're done. Now it's gonna say, let me move this out of the way. It's gonna say shutting down. Get my tripod set up here. Shutting down. And uh, it'll restart and do its cleaning. I'm not going to film that, so we'll let that go. 
And uh, I'll just fast forward through this. Leave it on, but fast forward it. So hang tight, guys. All right, so we're back. Now it's it finished its auto head cleaning, right? I mean, I'm sorry, auto the, the the manual maintenance where you did the ink stations. Now it's going to tell you it's uh, auto head maintenance required. Now what you do with that is basically the same thing. So you go down, you hit your menu, which is the down arrow key, and so you get to maintenance. Then hit enter. Then you'll look for auto head maintenance required. So go down to maintenance. Hit enter, nozzle check, head cleaning, flushing. We're looking for auto head maintenance. Okay, just keep going see if you get it. Clean maintenance unit and auto head maintenance. Okay, hit enter. Now it says press pound to start. It's going to tell you to remove the tray. Remove the tray. Try and do this without moving the paper. Okay. Now it says set maintenance kit and then press start. Okay. So now we're doing this. We're going to put the foam. Now I'm cheating because I just flipped those over from the last time I used it. That's how I do it. These are expensive. All this stuff is expensive, but I make these. I didn't make these particular ones, but I'm, I'm making them. So I just flip them over because that's how dirty it gets. That's it. That's not much. So you can flip them over or run them twice, whatever the case is. Okay. So let me go ahead and just show you how I apply the fluid. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall over here. So I got my syringe. There's lines on here. There's there's two sets of lines. One, two. Each section of lines is the amount of fluid you want to apply. I do one at a time just so I, I, I know how much I'm putting on a little bit better. So then I'm just going to let it so can I run a stream across it and then down the middle until I even apply that much. Okay, now I'm going to do the other one. All right, I run a stream down the edge because you can see where it actually does the cleaning on the edges here. So, put some in the middle here, and that's it. Hang this over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move this back up. And then you're gonna take your tray, and you're gonna put it in, and it's gonna stick like the magnet is gonna stick, so you know you're right, so you're snapped in. Pops out, pops in. When you do that, then you go ahead and hit your start. Now it's going to go through the process again, and um, I'll I'll start fast forwarding. But to show you what it's doing, it's actually doing a head unit clean on the inside. Let's see if I can uh, drop this so you can see a little better. So the head is actually. going back and forth inside there, if you could see that. So it'll go through its own process and does it by itself. And that's it, that's the only maintenance. You literally have a couple minutes of actual work. That's it, you don't have much work at all. So I'll leave that, uh, lock this up. I'll leave that go. I'll fast forward.
that's it. All right, so I'm back. So now as you can see, oops, it's done. It's gonna take out your tray. And then if those are pretty dirty, if this is your first one, throw those out. Um, I only reuse them after the initial because the other side's clean. So you can throw those pads out and then you're done. Just put everything away. Put your tray back in because it's telling you to put the tray back in. We'll press start and then it'll say put the, well, it actually might do another maintenance uh, by itself. Don't put the tray until it tells you. All right, so I'll fast forward during this last maintenance. Um, it's just doing something with the heads. And then it's gonna say, put tray back in. So I'll fast forward again. All right, so we're back in. Now it says, put the tray back in. And that's pretty much it. What I was saying was before it did the last, when you remove that maintenance tray, it goes to another self-maintenance. And that's it. You'll know you're done. There you're done. Just hit escape. You'll know you're done, but it'll, it'll have, it will have an alert if you're not. It'll say ready if you are. So you're all done. So that's the maintenance. Um, you physically have two minutes worth of work guys it's not much at all and that's you know if you don't, if you don't run it for a few weeks maybe two weeks or more you're on you will have to do these cleanings and it's it, it really is painless and it's really fast everything else is automatic so um that's it so hopefully this video will help um and um clear up some confusion on the menus stuff like that so it's pretty straightforward you just go in your uh maintenance settings under the what it's asking for it's usually only those two things that i showed so um hope that helps this is the Roland bt12 and uh, this was quick maintenance all right thanks for watching guys like to try hit that notification